All right, guys, happy Monday. It's been a bit since my last video. Um, I just did the uh, Hofstra show out in Long Island this past weekend. And uh, it's my first time ever to that show, either buying or selling. And uh, I feel like I had a great show. Uh, I picked up some really cool cards, which I'll show off. But first, got to show Rookie sleeping. Uh, we can get going. I kind of separated these by, um, by the deal. And so I'll kind of make mention to to that. Um, this first deal here was, um, wasn't the first deal of the show, it was like actually like one of the last. Um, seven card lot, uh, brought to me by um, someone who works, or I guess is the general manager of Cards and Coffee here in New York City. Um, so always try to look out for this 84 Fleur update Kirby Pocket. Um, don't pay attention to any of the prices that you see on, on any of the um, cards or whatever. Bobby Doerr. Uh, this is a Norm Cash rookie, uh, also a high number, not an easy card to find. Um, so pay attention to that. Uh, Dom DiMaggio from 49 Bowman. Uh, these were also in there. I'm, pr I'm going to choose to grade these. Um, this Henderson has just really nice centering. Um, so I think that has a fair shot, like a seven. Uh, George Kell Bowman rookie. This is uh, becoming a pretty popular card, uh, given that his Leaf rookie is really unobtainable for a lot of collectors. Um, and uh, a decent second year Johnny Bench with very nice centering for a 69. Um, this deal I probably could have gone without buying. Um, this is like a, a lower grade 65 Clemente. Um, and this 60 Kofax has like a wrinkle in this corner. So I paid a hundred bucks for the pair. I probably could have done without doing that, but what can you do? Um, this card, uh, was part of a deal that I bought, um, and then sold two of, of the three cards that I bought, um, out of it. So the other two were 86 Fleer, um, Patrick Ewing and Akeem Olajuwon. So sold those two and then this one is left. Um, first time I ever owned this card, um, low grade Moberg, but, uh, it's really become an extremely popular card from this set. Um, just happy to have it. It's just super, super cool. Obviously low grade, it probably had some like, um, those like, uh, photo corner holders. You can see like some discoloring, but not in the corners here where the corners would have been. So, um. Cool card. Uh, this was maybe the first thing that I bought on Saturday. Nice mid-grade Mini Minoso from 53 Bowman. Clean card. Uh, these next three were from the same person, but two different transactions. Really sharp, 41 double play, Charlie Geringer. Uh, it's not a set that I really look for a lot, but, um, I, I do sometimes try to get Hall of Famers if they're cheap. Um, it's just not a set that people like truly love a lot. Um, this was a super sharp Sam Leslie. Um, I do need to measure this. I was thinking about grading it. Um, I didn't have my ruler with me when I bought the car, but it was like really, it was so cheap that it was kind of a no brainer. Um, and then the last card here was an Ernie Lombardi, uh, first name error. Uh, was corrected at some point in the process. Uh, he also has a high number in this set. I think it's card number 101. 10, it's up there, um, which is a pretty tough card. Uh, but this is the low number, uh, first name error. Ernie Lombardi is a Hall of Famer. Uh, last lot here. Um, some cool cards here. Um, this Jake Gibbs, he was uh, the catcher in the Yankees before uh, Thurman Munson got there. I had one of these in a in a Greg Morris lot, and it was very centered like this, and it did like extremely well. So when I saw that, I had to grab it. Uh, this Dick Allen, um, I didn't see when I bought it. it. Has a tiny wrinkle down here, so that'll probably go to Greg Morris too. This is like a big Greg Morris 
like I bought these specifically probably to go there. Um, Rude Tom Janovich from 72 Tops Basketball, a set that I love to buy from Sharp Thurman Munson from 78. Uh, Bo Jackson rookie, a little off center, but otherwise pretty sharp, popular card. Um, 83 Tops traded Daryl Strawberry. Kazzy Russell from 71. And uh, these were a dollar each. These are super sharp, um, just commons. But um, thinking about might grade them. The populations are pretty low. Um, so I might hold on to them for a little bit. I mean, I'm into them for like hardly anything. So um, might be a fun little experiment to just send to PSA and see what happens. Uh, but that's it. Uh, quick video. Pr appreciate you guys watching. Had a fun show. Um, and uh, see you next time.